I'm Jenny with the Whiteley Senior Recreation Center and today I want to show you how to make a dandelion painting using just a toilet paper roll, some q-tips, some cotton balls, a bottle cap, and some paint. Let's get started. Okay, so to start you're going to grab some construction paper, whatever color you'd like. I found that darker is a little bit better. And you're going to take your toilet paper roll and cut some fringe on the bottom that's about a half an inch thick. And you can make it different size fringe. It doesn't have to be symmetrical. And then you'll want to just kind of push it on your palm a little bit to make it spread out its little fingers. Then you're going to take some of your white paint and spread it in a circle on a paper plate. And gently take your toilet paper roll and get a little bit of paint on the end of each of your little fringe fingers. And you'll want to just start by dabbing and letting it push down so that it spreads the paint out like that. And you can make as many dandelions as you want. We're gonna make three today. And if you get done with it and you decide you want some more little dots, you can just come back, add a little more paint and go back over it just like that. The next step is to take a bottle cap and you're just gonna dip it in the paint a little bit and we're gonna make the centers to our dandelions on each one. Like that. And then we're gonna take our Q-tips and you can take as many as you want and you'll bunch it together and we're gonna make the little dots that go on the inside of the dandelion. So again, just tap it into your paint and dab it around. And you can make as many little dots as you'd like. Every dandelion is different. The next step is to take a cotton ball and you want to just pull it apart to make the fluff spread a little bit, like that. Get a little bit of paint on it, and you're gonna blot. So this is gonna be our wind blowing our dandelion. And you can see all the little pieces blowing in the wind. You'll wanna make sure they're all going the same direction in the wind, just like that. And the only thing left to do now is to make our stems. So you'll take your paintbrush and just bring it all the way down. Just like that. And there you have your dandelion painting. Have fun and be creative with your dandelions. And once you're done, make sure that you post them and tag Wiley Recreation. We'd love to see it.